Hello and welcome my friends, it's MSI time, T1 versus Stroll, I mean it's going to be a quick 2-0, we have to hope, we have to assume T1, hopefully they got some good training in and are in prime position to crush the competition and finally win some MSI titles, it has been a while, but first we have to beat our LLA uh, competition here, pretty decent team right, we shouldn't underestimate them, uh, but we're also pretty decent players, let's see, Hopefully some fun games, let's watch some T1 highlights, let's get right into it my friends. Okay, T1 fighting, let's take a look at the draft and I mean, it's a pretty aggressive one, pretty uh, flexing, right, uh, with the Nico, with the Lee Sin, skill expression there for us to deal with this, also pretty aggressive uh, Astral comp, right, I mean, Ion, I mean, Ari, okay, okay. Draven, okay, let's just go. I mean, uh, Draven versus Kalissa is not even all too bad, so we have to be honest with that one. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Obviously, it's Faker, he's going to get ganked super early on. Um, we actually have used the lane swap, I'll talk about that in a second. Okay, Faker pretty respectful, uses the slash button here. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the minimap. There are two Kalistas, obviously, in top lane, right? That's just how we roll. Uh, we actually picked two of Kalista. And uh, then obviously Zeus is uh, 1v2 in the top and in the bot lane. And uh, yeah, he's taking all the punish there from uh, Snaker and uh, Ackerman. Oh, well, we'll have to see here. This sort of maybe a four man dive being set up here. Crazy. Regardless, uh, yeah, T1 obviously working away on the turret. There is obviously the fact, right? Not many know, but uh, the top lane and mid lane turret, especially in the first uh, minutes of the game, I think it's the first five, if I'm not mistaken, uh, is like sturdier, right? If you like, you see the auto text, right? There's this like tiny force field uh, effect, right? Whenever uh, Guma uh, hits the turret, obviously it's uh, tankier at that point, right? Whereas on the other side here, uh, the bot lane turrets for both teams, obviously, are squishier. Carrier now here with owner as well. So uh, yeah, we're kicking out these uh, mean mean guys and Zeus is allowed to get the first CS at minute four. Uh, yeah, that's just fun. Guma is still uh, in top lane, right? 31 CS for both AD carries. In terms of plates, advantage for uh, the Draven. But uh, we will manage, we will manage. Don't worry, don't worry. And a big thing, obviously, you have to pay attention to is uh, the XP in these kinds of things, right? And Guma is nearly an entire level ahead, Carrier and uh, Ackerman are roughly even. Um, owner is a little bit behind. We'll have to see how that ends up, right? That's uh, 8 CS lead for uh, Jose Odeodo. So that's that. And uh, in the top lane, also a level lead for Zeus. So overall, higher levels for T1. That's a positive. Now T1 with a numbers advantage here, a bit of uh, skirmishing. Actually, not numbers advantage. I also got kind of confused by Carrier. Huh. Regardless, are we looking for a dive? Are we looking for some crazy play? Carrier, obviously, decently squishy, but he sets up a beautiful EQ. Owner hammers it down, and just like that, Astralis' next have been washed and have been crushed. Uh, okay, he's emoting, emoting. Let's see, let's see. No one is coming to help him. Next wave arrives. And uh, yeah, we still have some summoners and Q connects owner. Okay, so he gets a one for one. Uh, I have no idea how you pronounce that name. Zo Zuf. I should have informed myself. I uh, I do apologize, but at the end, Vidyon obviously gets one back. Good for him, but um, overall, still a three-one lead here, forty-one. They get some Drake. Cares. Have fun with that. Looking good. Looking good. Blue side maybe OP, right? Uh. Carrier here getting attacked. Oh no. Oh, does he get some back? No, he does not. At least he forces out the old, I guess, Copium. And uh, funny, obviously, you know how Riot game works, right? Even though Faker is down 200 gold, he has a 150 gold bounty. Um, that's just not asked questions here. Okay. Respectable try by Cody, right? Nice idea, but Carrier now with the old Pop Blossom comes through and that's the shutdown onto Guma, right? With the TP, with everything. Interesting flash there by owner Faker with the shockwave. But obviously, like, we're at 11 minutes right now. There's no damage to be done. Still a double kill for the gold. 
Zeus, can he line something up more? He goes all out, he gets the support and he will fall down, but I mean, that's completely worthwhile. And uh, yeah, T1 wins another fight here. Obviously, a uh, nice proactive play by Ast Astro, right? Can't criticize that, right? They were looking for an angle around the 14 minute corner. Plates fall off, first items completed here and there. And T1 is playing very aggressively. Faker here gets teleported on. Remember, the bear can turn off the turret. Faker with a massive shock play. Crazy. Carrier also gets some good damage done, but uh, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter that they are all low. Uh, they will get the double kill, they will get the turret as well, the objective bounty goes into their stomach and uh, again, we have to underline it again. Nice proactive play by Astro, they're not going quietly into the night, it's not that late yet, but uh, yeah, they're not giving up, they're not resigning to their fate, they're looking for the players, right, they look for what they've drafted, right, they have drafted for roams and tower dives in the side lanes, right, that's what they look for, Faker here, yeah, just very nice and uh, yeah, Kerry obviously can't interrupt uh, the Yon ult there, if I have seen that correctly. T1 now uh, yeah, looking mighty strong. They have uh, obviously just one dragon to run. But uh, next one spawning, Ocean 1. Nah, not the, be not the best Drake really here. Both teams are pretty like shut. Oh, what the hell is that fake? Oh, what? Okay, crazy. Like... Why was Faker so far forward? I don't know, man. Did he get charmed and we uh, like I didn't spot that? Regardless, uh, that was pretty crazy, man. Obviously, he gets flashed and uh, flash stunned and then slain really easily. But uh, crazy, right? Hey, at least they've gotten some kills. Um, the Draven has not, but also the Draven like has now was a 232 stacks. So if he should get a kill, that's a lot of money, right? And uh, again, T1's comp, right, they're not the greatest scalers, they are... Okay, that's pretty aggressive. Owner gets dragged all the way around. Zeus is coming and Faker also is coming from the north. And that's the first interruption. Faker here forces out multiple ults and flashes and everything. Uh, happy feet, happy feet. And there is Zeus driving into the turrets. It's not September yet, so that's not that, but crazy. He rushes into the next one. Will he get? No, it's getting interrupted there. But regardless, that will be the base crack. They, are they looking for an early finish? I don't think we can get that one. Unless we can. Okay, okay. Nice E there. Okay, Zeus here in a 1v2. Let's see what he can do. He gets charmed, gets ulted. There comes the TP, but he's already so low. He dashes and charms on Faker. Oh my god, but that's the shot. No, it's not a shutdown, but right there, they shut down the, the stacking of the Draven. Uh, again, Ast Astral with a nice idea attacking the solo split line, uh, split pusher. But uh, yeah, a bit over ambitious, right? It's it's still a Kazante, it's still Zeus as well. T1 um, hesitating a bit, right? Not the fastest TP, but TPing, rotating over, getting two big kills. And yeah, that's the, that's the Baron easily, right? Obviously, the cha I think the changes has been... Uh, have been live for this patch, right? The, the the changes to the Baron, right? Where it is strong. Okay, carrier with a two-man ult. Uh, right? There are the spears and owners like kick combo, right? There should be no way he actually got in. Crazy, but uh, still. Secured 41. Let's go. TP into the base. Zeus wants to get home early. He has probably ordered food already. Uh, let's see if Faker here, can you get another funny kill? Oh, actually, wait, that's not fake. I'm getting tricked by Carrier more than anyone else. Crazy. Okay, big big combo. But uh, yeah, Zeus also occupying the Draven, so that's at least something. Will he also fall to the Draven? That's the next question. It looks awfully close. Can someone steal the kill? Run Zeus, oh my god, Faker with a massive shockwave. Uma has the cleanse ready this time. And, oh my god, it's crazy. It's illegal. Guma, what are you doing, man? You're so crazy. Also ends up giving over this, the stackers to the snacker. Uh, but yeah, it should not matter. T1 should end the game here and now any moment. And uh, it has been a wild one as we usually get in these uh, play-in stages. 
Um, we're going to get some more kills right here. Jose Ododo is going to fall. Snacker is also going to fall. Uh, and anyone else? No. Okay, that's the crazy first game here in the series. T1 convincingly win, right? They put them in their pocket. I think the biggest positive is for the uh, the Astro team, right? That they like, they didn't give up. They always were looking for avenues to like profit to like, try to get back into the game. Uh, and obviously, it's it's against the world champion, the literal world champions, and the literal gold and everything, right? So, uh, not an easy task, but I, it worked out uh, to some extent for them. Big positive. And uh, yeah, let's go into game number two and uh, let's close this up cleanly for T1, right? Okay, so uh, oh, another cringe lane swap. I, I mean, I loved lane swaps, but uh, that was during a time with like scaling AD carries and stuff like that. Then lane swaps are pretty fun because like you get scaling AD carries accelerated into the game. But we have like Kalista and Rumble versus double AD carry Draven Ash. It's like. That's not boring. I want to see these like guys fight. <laughs> oh, Baker here gets. Uh... Yeah, that's uh, that's that's unfortunate. Right, nice flash predict, I guess, kind of by the Aatrox, but overall, like you are cringe. And uh... this is sadly nothing new. Faker is still the most ganked person of all time. We all remember like the five man guys that like try to gank him level one, uh, like. In the like earlier world tournaments right where everything was a bit more like fun and games you also like gank squad uh, and bot oh he gets actually away uh also gets the uh, gets out so that's something he tps back in zeus okay uh repeat gank here but uh it's all about the xp right uh that's one kill for t1 can you get something else if he gets a return kill, that would be massive. He doesn't get one. That's a, that's actually pretty bad. Uh, and like he didn't get too many minions, only got two. So, like even though, if you look at the XP, Red Zeus is now ahead, even though he has tied twice. Uh, it's still a, a bit iffy, right? Okay, now level and bot lane. Yeah, T1 favored, jungle T1 favored, top lane T1 favored. So like sure, yeah. 400 gold for uh, Astral, right? Nice, good for you. But uh, we have XP leads and uh, like, yeah, the, the XP, as especially in the early game, is just worth so much, right? A singular level, depending on champion, can be worth up to 500 gold in combat stats. Um, like the, 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 the gold is like massively in T1's favor if you look at the if you look at the, the levels, right? The total gold doesn't matter, show levels, right? Two level lead, nearly three level lead now on top lane. That's 1.5k for Zeus, right? You, you just can't uh, can't compare that. Okay, Ghost used and now he knows. Let's see how Owner can impact this fight. Gets the W and yeah, in the end he just gets a solo kill, right? Obviously. That's not a true solo kill due to the fact that, I mean, like, Owner was literally just right there. Okay, let's see. Cody here is the target. Carrier just... yeah. Carrier is so bloodthirsty here. And that's exactly what we need him to be, right? Either you play OP champions like the Nautilus, or, like, you get, you get to play these kinds of pen champions. Oh, why... He... I mean, I don't know if that is that the play. Do you give the kill to 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 uh, the Draven instead of the Ari? I don't know, man. But uh, well, regardless, right? It's like extra money for the Draven. Good for them. But uh, T1 is still obviously in a fine position. But again, coming back to the support question, right? I mean, we all know it, right? Kara is just so good if he's unable to actually participate in the game. Um, Okay, okay, let's see, but the T1, uh, I don't know, Cavalry or Support uh, is arriving, that's the one kill, and the second one follows to boot, and uh, yeah, that's some throats cut and heads paraded around the city, uh, maybe a bit too graphic, okay, regardless, uh, anyway, can I not talk about Carrier not playing Nami for once, <laughs> that's just so good, oh yeah, Nami, what a champion, that's some, okay, we, 
didn't see the start of that one, but again, another good charm by uh, by Cody, and uh, that's that. Actually, it looks like he was kicked into the charm, right? If I see the the old cooldown there correctly. Uh, yeah, nice uh, nice play there by the uh, experienced players on the uh, EST roster. Another charm, Carrier. Hello, you have a shutdown. What the fuck are you doing? What, bro? What up? What are they on? Another charm. Ash Arrow could also come out now, right? Or is it still on cooldown? I can't really spot that one. But uh, yeah, again, we continue. T1, disrespectful. EST, right? Quite aggressive, right? Obviously, with this comp, they have to be. Uh, but uh, it is what it is, right? Here, Guma also flash force now. I mean, let's just not look into the top lane. But actually, two turret shots, and that's just it. They're down 1.5k. Why do they get objective bounties? I, I don't get objective bounties. I should get objective bounties. Okay. Ambitious shockwave, but... He just disappeared. That guy just... Was he even there? I don't know. And uh, yeah, out of nowhere, two quick kills. Okay. Faker? Okay, what? <laughs> Man, in game number one, I said bro had insane ults. Now this game, it's like Uga. Oh man, Guma is cooked. Uh, why does he have heal actually this game? Hello? Crazy. Uh, Toa also dies. So again, EST continues to use their aggressive uh, comp to punish T1's carelessness, right? Rift turret here in top lane carrier is there. So uh, like if they go for something more, we can punish. But we just pick up our uh, third Drake here and we are A-OK. -okay. With a Mountain Soul as well, I mean, Owner and Zeus are just going to benefit from that crazily. Uh, if Kerry actually gets to uh, Zonias, then obviously that's also nice for him. He's picking up another kill just casually here on the side, right? It's like, he's nothing better to do, he just picks up another kill. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, TP behind us, and also Zeus TPing in. Hello, can we defend our Zeus? Hello? That's uh, concerning, but overall we are decently all right. Cooldowns forced here and there. Actually, Guma's flash. Not the not the best thing. Oh my! Oh my! Uh, yikes! Considering this like is a four v five with uh, Faker like being all the way over there, uh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, nice. We collect the mid lane turret. Another try on the Aatrox. Okay, let's see. Owner sets it up. Flash and... Wait, what? Uh, okay. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Fail flash into whatever. Regardless, we get the kill. Carrier dodges the one. The two. I mean, that was a clear miss. That was also a miss. Okay, in the end, the damage is just too much. Lots of misses, we have to be honest. But also, okay. Uh, Carrier tries his best, but in the end he can't succeed. Owner, um, okay, yeah, he, I mean, also doesn't get to play it left. Hmm, maybe, maybe this cleanse would have been really nice. Let's ask Guma Yushi how he feels about that one. Faker picks up 700 million gold in the side lane, but his team is just uh, sending it. But, hey, whatever, whenever. Uh, Faker, okay, shaking hands with an Aatrox. Uh... <laughs> Did he say something in all chat after the last uh, Yone game or like, oh what? Man, bro has been getting humbled in the side lanes. So in a couple of seconds our soul is going to spawn. Very lovely. Um, Carrier already has laid out the red carpet in the mid lane. Very kind of him. Cody here tries something, but that was just um, a bit desperate, no? Uh, regardless, I mean T1, we are only 3000, 2000 gold ahead, right? Yeah, we are not winning by that much. Uh, Faker here is just looking for another uh, like solo kill here on Uzi Aatrox, who has been a nice snack for T1 to consider. And with all the pressure going on, owners just casually taking soul. Yeah, there is a reason why there are four stars above this T1 icon. Just clean gameplay if they want it to be, right? Uh, the map movement has been has been solid, right? Uh, Baron, Slay, yeah, let's take that thing as well. Faker here, although that is dangerous. Can he get at least the ult through? Can someone block? Okay, nice man. Stopwatch and safety. Uh, owner in the thick of things. He will just slay Cody and just uh, in this 1v3 situation. He will just pick up another one. Why actually not? Now he's the fed. Uh, yeah, it's just... 
I mean, owner of what the hell, man? Okay. Quadra kill for owner. Wonderful. Carrier stole the pentakill, but I mean, T1 is looking to finish your 24 minutes. An absolute shellacking here. When it like really got to it, T1 just uh, yeah in a in a different league. Uh, as expected, a clean 2-0, not much to see, but a T1 that looks reinvigorated and strong even after the recent recent defeat versus Gen G. Uh, oh no, the KDAs are going to get destroyed. No. Oh uh, no, the KDAs. No, no, the KDAs, they're going to get destroyed. Ah. Uh, they can't get onto Faker. Oh man. <laughs> Crazy. Faker get the. Yeah, nice. Uh, so yeah, Faker obviously the unkillable demon king. Let's forget the 3 1 6 scoreline. Uh, yeah, he gets away the rest. Uh, yeah, maybe a bit too deep. T1 still is the one taking down the Baron, right? So that's a bit weird, right? Astro, like, you had like 20 seconds or so of time. Ooh, owner's old, forced out though. But uh, yeah, T1 has some super minions. You might want to take care of that one. Uh, oh, where's your wave clear? It's a uh, Draven. I mean, the Draven is still strong, right? We see he has a 2.8k lead over Guma, but. Yeah, Guman doesn't have the best of games, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's the mi the minion that they're snacking. Oh, Faker also picks up another one here any moment now. Yeah, just lovely. A solo kill actually onto that uh, fat monstrous Draven, and yeah, he picks up another one. Uh, yeah, overall pretty great performance by T1. Um, yeah, not much bad we can say. Uh, happy gaming, but again, I said that let's not burn ourselves out take every game as it comes just win and then that's fine quick 2-0 very nice positive uh, gameplay especially more in game number one i have to say i mean the early game of game number two for astro was also quite fine but overall like solid performance by them as well uh yeah it's going to be interesting how they are going to perform uh against um uh, psg i think psg still looked way stronger but um well who knows right Anyway, smack that like button if you like T1 winning and also smack the subscribe button if you don't want to miss more MSI content. Obviously, we're going to react to the T1 victories. So uh, yeah, be there or be square. See you next time. Bye bye, my friends.